According to Tony Heller, Greenland has about 3,000 trillion tons of ice and snow. Much of the ice is about two miles thick. So when we hear that Greenland loses billions of tons of ice in a single day, should we be concerned? Let's try to put some context around these numbers. From September to the peak in May, around five to 600 billion tons of snow falls on Greenland. Then it melts for a few months, losing some of the snow that has fallen. On average, Greenland gains about 400 billion tons of ice every year, more than a billion tons of ice per day. And then billions of tons of ice get pushed out to sea by the weight of glaciers coming down the valleys. In this way, Greenland has maintained its two-mile ice cover for thousands of years. Let's look at some recent years. 2012 was an exceptional year in which more ice had melted by, than usual, quite a bit more. 2013 was also a warm year, and the next three years were essentially average. In 2017, much more snow fell than usual. In 2018, much less ice melted than usual. Over those two years, Greenland had a net gain of over a trillion tons of ice. I'm going to repeat that. In two recent years, Greenland had a net gain of over one trillion tons of ice. This is easy to verify at the Danish Meteorological Network's polar portal. Every one of these years shows a net increase in Greenland ice. This is offset by calving at the shoreline, which is caused by the pressure of ice coming down and has nothing to do with temperature. The more ice that builds up, the more it flows down and calves off into the ocean. Tony Heller has an important video on Greenland that I recommend you see. This graph of temperature comes from the Tasselak station, which has 120 uninterrupted years of continuous temperature measurement from a remote thermometer. But NASA and the UN don't show the whole thing. Their graphs always start around 1980 and show a strong warming trend in the Arctic. That's what they feed to the media. They know very well what the previous temperatures have been in Greenland, but they don't show the inconvenient data. Is Greenland losing ice overall? From 1992 to 2018, the ice sheet lost 3.8 billion tons of ice as a result of more calving than accumulation. Out of 3 million billion tons of ice, that's a rounding error. There were probably similar losses back in the 1920s and 30s. But hey, if we assume this trend continues, well, we're talking about 200 billion tons of ice lost every single year. And at that rate, it would take 15,000 years to lose all the ice in Greenland, which would raise sea level very, very slowly. Now let's head south to 